what's up y'all it's your girl t we're back with another vlog i actually just got home from work today is saturday april 20th um happy 420 to those of y'all that you know um but anyway tomorrow is a very exciting day i'm going to the happiest place on earth Disneyland. I'm going to take my braids down today because I want to wear a hat tomorrow and I just don't want to deal with them. It's time for them to come out. As you guys can see, like girl, they are hanging on by a thread. It's so embarrassing. Look at that. <laughs> anyway, look at that. It's just like is dead so anyways i'm taking my braids out today so we'll see what comes of this disney vlog i will share with you what i'm wearing we're leaving pretty early in the morning so i'm not sure how much footage i will get before i leave like getting ready and things of that nature but um in the meantime let's get these braids out so I okay y'all so we're in my bathroom now excuse the echo if there's an echo but is what it is. I don't want to bore you guys with the process of taking braids down. But since we're in the bathroom, and this is natural light, I don't have my overhead light on. Um, if you guys can see, like, these braids are hanging on by a thread. You hear me? So, they kind of still look good in the middle. But I'd rather just go ahead and take them out because... I don't really want to have to deal with this hair tomorrow, even though I can put it up in a bun, but I'm tired of, I wear it in a bun every day of the week while I'm at work. And I want to give my hair some rest also from the stress of the braids. But like you can tell, it's, if you, if you know, you know, it's time for these joints to come out. Um, it's been approximately a month since I got them installed. Yes, I got my hair braided on March 22nd. Today is April 20th. So approximately a month I've had these braids in, you might as well say. Um, so they're coming out today. Um, plus I want to wear a hat tomorrow since we will be outside. Obviously Disneyland. Um, just to give my face some protection from the sun other than the um, sunscreen. Um, I have a pimple patch on here. But I don't know if that's actually a pimple. Um, anyways, I have to make an appointment to see my dermatologist. Um, so, with all that being said, I'm going to... Stop texting me. I am going to start taking these braids out and I'm going to cut them first up to my hair which you guys know my hair really isn't that long but also you can see my hair sticking out really good that's also another sign it's time for these braids to come out so yes and in the meantime face over matter is going to keep me company I'm watching one of her videos all right here we go do I really want to do this? I'm going to have to deep condition my hair today too. Um, and I also need to study. I have a test on Monday. Just spending all day at Disneyland tomorrow. I have a test on Monday. And um, it's on two chapters. So this should be quite interesting. Um, but yeah, can y'all see like, girl, it's time to let these joints go. Um, so yeah, let's get to snipping girl <laughs> and then plastic bag oh how y'all like my new do no i'm just playing let's see how long it takes me to take these out since i've cut them down and it's currently 4 47. i am watching the wendy williams special um on hulu if you haven't seen it it's quite interesting so let's get into this thing my mirror is over here i'm just using my closet mirror um, I want it to be in a comfortable chair. Waiting time, you know. I got a talk show. 
more than there's a Wendy doing it her way. Maybe she does it with a teaspoon of ratchet. Oprah was of the people like her. First one out. He's probably closer to Howard Stern. No, not exactly the same, but in style and tone some way. Now you guys can really see how long my hair is. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, T. I'm just coming in real quick um, to give you guys um, just a little brief on um, the Disney vlog, which is this vlog. Um, you will see I'm using my camera in the beginning, and then I will switch to my iPhone. It just became too much, and I was fearful of dropping my real camera. So, um, so the majority of the clips are from my iPhone. Then at the end... During the fireworks show, I pull out my real camera, and as we're leaving, I pull out my real camera. Um, so, yes, I hope you all enjoyed this Disney vlog, and um, yeah, enjoy.
Okay, y'all. That's the Disney vlog. I don't know. You should be a model. Hey, me? A model? Are you sure? This is my twin sister. Damn right. Can you tell us part. Oh wait, here we go. Which one's which? I don't know. <laughs> so now that we're at the end of the vlog, I'm going to show you guys what I actually purchased while I was at Disneyland. Um, and what I got, I got everything on my list except for a keychain. There's a reason for me wanting to get a new keychain, but I'll save that for later. <sighs> All right, so. The main thing that I really wanted when I went to Disneyland was a backpack, a mini backpack. You guys know I love to carry a mini backpack. And so this was the first one that caught my eye. Isn't she cute? <laughs> so I'm excited for her. Let's see. I wanted a, a cap, so I got a cap. A dad hat. Um, it is a Nike brand. It is a one size fits all. It's actually um, a golf hat, which is fine. I don't mind, but I wanted something plain and simple, um, not something that was too attractive. Um, what I got that was really attractive, one of my favorite current movies in recent years is Coco. And so I got a hoodie, which I wanted a hoodie, so. And you guys know blue is my favorite color. So this what this is the front of it, the logo. Um, it does have pockets. It is a zip up. It has florals on the inside, which I love. Um, and then the back, oh my gosh, the back is so gorgeous. I also wanted to get a t-shirt. I ended up getting three only because one t-shirt that I saw was like a specialty t-shirt, I guess you could say. And then the other ones were two for 25 or regular price. So obviously you would get the two for 25, right? So this one was like, a, it's a traditional t-shirt, nothing fancy, but it's simple how I like it. It has mini on it. And then I got, this one, this is one of the two for 25. And here's the other one I got, Tinkerbell. It's one of the two for 25. I got a sunglass case, um, which was separate from the sunglasses that I purchased. I did purchase a pair of sunglasses. You guys know I wear sunglasses all the time. And then it has the Mickey logo on the arm of it, so I love that. <laughs> yes, love these for me. And the only reason why I bought this case is because I didn't want to wear them while I was there. Being superficial here, I did not want to scratch them up, so I bought the case. And it just, it's a clasp. It's not a drawstring or anything like that, but it does have a hook on it if you want to hook it to something oh my gosh you guys so the people that i went with they're frequent frequent flyers and they had these these watches on and they scanned them we went to the park and i was like when it lit up i was like "Ooh, what is that and so i wanted the full experience so they're called magic bands i don't know how long they've been out but anyway i got one i got a tiana from um the princess and a frog this is her. So it's an interactive band while you're at Disneyland. Um, you can use it. You can put your tickets on it so you can get in and out from California Adventure over to Disneyland, back and forth through the different parks. And um, on rides, it like glows up and does things. And then throughout Disneyland, there are like um, interactive things that you can put it up against. And so one of them that we stopped by when we were passing by it was actually near Tiana's place, which is also where we ate. Um, and so um, it was like a wall, the wall, the wall 
where they were constructing her ride. Um, they, the, they made the wall, um, I guess, entertaining and it was interactive. So whenever you would put your band against the um, interaction button, it would make like a noise or a sound or someone is talking. And so that was really cool to see um, um, how you can use this band. Now this band is not that cheap. Um, and it's not that expensive. Um, if you have discounts, it helps because I believe they rate their different prices based on they go by a color coding um, system in the stores. So um, anyway, I got Tiana's for 38 bucks, but that was with a discount, a 30% discount. But I think they range in regular price. I want to say from if I remember correctly, I believe from like 42 to 59 or somewhere around there. Um, but this is the one that I got. So, real quick, this is the charger for the Magic Band. Let me not call it a watch because it is not a watch. You can only use it at Disneyland, but it will still be cute to just like wear around if you want to. I don't know. I'm sure I won't do that. But anyway, I got a matching necklace and earring set for my birthday month, May, which the stone is emerald. So... I don't know. That's what I got. So that's all the things that I got from Disney, you guys. And let me tell you, I had a lot of fun. I am ready to go back already. Um, we did stay until the fireworks, as you saw in the previous clips. And yeah, that'll be it for this vlog. If you hear music or whatever in the background, that's my son. Um, but anyways, um, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. Don't forget to come back every Thursday for a new video. Again, my name is Tamika, but you can please, 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 please call me T. Um, yeah, I think that's it for now. So I'll see you guys soon. Peace.